It is a nice neighborhood, um, but uh, you know there are we're we're on uh, like uh, the backside of the South Pasadena, so mm-hmm. close. So it, although it's nice, there we're a little. The crime starts just to the other side of us, and uh, we had a uh, we had some police activity in our neighborhood not too long ago. I see, and uh, obviously a little scary. I'm supposed to be the defender of the home. Mm-hmm. Uh, currently with a vitamin D deficiency, it does take a little bit <laughs> uh-huh. of the edge off your confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if someone breaks in your house, you know, when your first concern is not the burglar, but did he leave the front door open so a strong wind could snap you like peanut brittle? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I understand. But a buddy of mine, someone broke into his house, and he he did not react the way he thought he was going to. He did what not, did he do? Well, he, what he did was he hid. Oh, oh really? And, yeah, and so now he got terrified. He wants to buy a gun to defend his home, and he's never used a gun before in his life. And Uh-oh. I was trying to convince him. I said, you don't need a gun to defend your home. You're not a gun guy. What you need is a baseball bat. Yeah. The baseball bat is the perfect home defense weapon because sure. any idiot can swing a baseball bat because yeah. you don't have to be baseball good. You just have to be pinata good is all yes. you have to that's be. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Point, As a matter of right. fact, the more spastic and unstable you are, the deadlier you appear to the intruder. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. A gun in and of itself is a dangerous weapon. You could be handling a gun and accidentally shoot yourself, but no one has ever been cleaning a baseball bat bat and accidentally beat themselves to death. <laughs> true enough. That's As that does true. happen, that's an acceptable loss. Let that man go. Yes. <laughs> that's very true. Now, in my know. fantasy of, you know, uh, defending the home, is usually I'm kicking some serious butt, and then there's usually like a catchy phrase at the end, uh-huh. tag it with something. Even if the guy's got his foot on my chest, yeah. I'll look up at him and say, well, 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 I guess that was easier than even you anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. James P. Connolly. Bomb and time.